we're in the car guys and now we're heading to the vet hospital so yeah we were looking forward to the live stream to chat with you guys and you know it's, it's always something happens right our first ever live yeah it's so frustrating but we were so happy and excited about that uh, live streaming and now we got little cherry in the back seat here and mm -hmm. we're heading to the vet so we won't be able to to go to even go in there like they have those protocols still in place we got to bring the bird to the door or something so this is an after hours call but we care so much and love cherry that we'll do the best for him so let's head on down there we sure weren't expecting to go there tonight <laughs> so there's cherry guys we are on the way so poor bird yeah we'll look after you you cherry Yeah, I never thought we'd be heading here tonight. Yeah, we'd be live streaming pretty soon. Yeah, we would have started in three minutes actually. <laughs> or no, I changed it. I said 7.30, oh, so another okay. half hour. I know that this is more important, but we'd rather be doing the live stream and having fun with you guys than going to the, the vet hospital. We're used to this place. Cherry's been here many times. He probably knows already where he's going. A few cars here. So we'll pull in and make a phone call and then they'll probably come out and get him. Kulika called, they said bring the bird to the door. Okay, Cherry, we'll see you later. Get going, Kulika. There's 24 hour care here. There she goes. So Kulika took Cherry there and what'd they say? Yeah, they, they took Cherry and uh, they're most likely going to just keep her, uh, him, <laughs> overnight here because uh, the exotic people who, who are dealing with birds, they, they wouldn't be here until the morning, so... And would really prefer the specialist to take a look at that foot, so... So yeah, we're gonna leave Cherry here and uh, they will give us a call and let us know. Okay guys. He's in good hands here. Mm -hmm. Stay here overnight, they can monitor him, and then when the experts get in tomorrow, they'll go from there. And so we'll end the video here, well this part of it, and we'll we'll continue it tomorrow and we'll update you then. So it's the next day now, guys. The cherry was in, in the animal hospital all night because like there was just the regular veterinarians that look after cats and dogs and the exotic uh, bird vet wasn't in until this morning. So she called me earlier this morning and said that good news, Cherry's doing really well. There's nothing broken that she can see. Just the nail was broken at the bottom. And that's why he was bleeding like that. And it's a good thing we brought him in. And she also gave recommendation about that powder that some of you have mentioned to us. So thanks for mentioning that, that tip. And that we should get some of that just to keep it on hand and then we could use it in a situation like that. So she did the exam and everything looks good. So now I'm gonna go pick him up and then when we get home, we'll show you guys and we'll update how Cherry's doing and everything. And I'll try and put a clip in of what the vet said. It was a long conversation, but I'll put some of that in so you can just hear what she said. There is one nail on the other foot that also appears to be broken close to the base. Oh, really? Um, it's it's still attached, but it kind of bends in an odd um, in, a, in an odd direction occasionally when he's perching, and it feels a little um, less secure okay. than his other nails. Mm -hmm. So um, it's not. It was oozing a little bit. I cleaned it up, but it's not bleeding at this point in time. Okay. Um, but I think that's something that we'll have to have to watch for. Okay. Yeah. So you know that's that's the biggest thing. His wing. I mean his. His, the rest of his exam, like I said, his heart sounded good, his lungs sounded good. His, um, I didn't feel any abnormalities in his wings other than the abnormalities that he already has. Right. That we talked about in the past. Yeah. Um, so I think, you know, the biggest thing is just to, to kind of watch him for the next little while um, and watch those, that nail in the other, um, in the other foot and make sure that, uh, that we keep an eye on that. 
Do you guys at home have any um, of like the blood stop powder at all? We don't have any. Some people have been telling us about that, and then the doctor last night he did something. Is there any way we can get some of that? Yeah. So um, the pet stores, like most pet stores, will carry uh, some of that, and it's um, often used in cat and dog nails. Um, if they get trimmed too short, so if um, if that was to happen again, then it's nice to have on hand yes. just to help stop the bleeding. What what is that called then? It's called blood stop powder. Okay, and the pet store should have that. Yes, or though, and it, though, if you tell them that, then they'll um, then they'll show you kind of what options they have. Okay. Um, and I think I mean what you guys did was was definitely you know the right thing because it does look like there was quite a bit of blood based on uh, how much is seen here yeah. in this little carrier. Right, right. Uh, and uh, and it can be scary. I mean, if there was bone sticking out, then we would have to be talking about um, amputations and those types of things, but I don't see any evidence of that right now. Good, good. So it's just keeping an eye on that, on that other, um, on that other toe and, um, and making sure that, uh, that, that, you know, looks good and appropriate. Yeah, and then minim try to minimize him falling, like we got to set something else up or something. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. and even if that means, you know, for now that you guys get like big blankets or something like that yes. around the cage while you're cleaning it, so that if he hops down, he has something, you know, fluffier to land on. Yeah, as I told my wife yesterday, even if we're not, don't have something ready, just just put anything in there that'll be better than nothing. Yeah, yeah exactly. Because you, I mean, you have to clean, so you can't say, oh, I won't clean, and we, we want him to be in that cage with the other birds, he's so comfortable with them. So now I'm gonna go pick up Cherry. We're we're excited to bring him home. Yeah, just about back at the vet clinic. They did a great job of clearing all these roads. We had a huge snowfall a month ago. They took a lot of it away. You can still see remnants of it here. <laughs> but not bad. So there's Cherry guys. Just picked him up. He's looking really good. <laughs> He's excited. He wants to go home and see Peach. Yeah, Peach and Maple and Pie and Spice. He wants to get back home where he belongs. They said he's doing really well. Nothing's broken because he's hopping around really well. It was just a nail trouble. So let's head home and we'll talk more when we get there. There he is, guys. Cherry's back home and he's doing really good. Yeah. We're going to keep him in that cage, right, Kalika? Keep him here for a little while until until he's told. Anyway. Yeah, we we want to just monitor yeah. him, but yeah, we don't want to take a of him again. So. <laughs> yeah, we want that toe to heal properly. The birds are excited. That's why they're cawing behind there. <laughs> yeah, we're just gonna keep Cherry in the smaller cage. This isn't his cage, guys. This is a, a transport yeah, cage. Of course not. That's just a transport cage. Yeah. So we took him to the vet in it. He spent the night in the vet. Uh, vet, at the vet uh, in that cage and then we we'll yeah. brought him back now. So we're going to keep him in here to monitor him. Like you heard the, the vet there talk about the, the other toenail, but right now we're just going to keep him here and we'll keep an eye on him and, and he yeah, looks really he, good. He needs to take it easy for a while anyways. He doesn't need much space right now. So he yeah. shouldn't be hopping back and forth much. So he should just uh, stay put and uh, eat his rest. We'll show you his regular cage. <laughs> Who's making all the noise back here? Like this is a huge cage. He wants to be in here, but see what happens, guys. When Kulika cleans, she has to reach in and clean. <laughs> she has to reach in and clean the perches and everything, and and the you know the all yeah. all these these perches here and and Cherry gets nervous, so and sometimes yeah. he falls down. Peach and Maple are imprinted, so they are so involved in when I'm cleaning, they're yeah. pulling my hair and uh, and uh, and pecking on my sponge that I'm scrubbing the perches <laughs> with, and they're acting totally different. But Cherry, on the other hand, he's getting nervous, so he thinks I'm going to grab him because he has been, uh, we've been uh, exposing him to all kinds yeah. of medical procedures and medications and stuff, so he's uh, going to damage. So he thinks that whenever we we reach hand into the gate, so we're gonna grab him for some procedure again. <laughs> Poor bird. So, yeah. And he gets getting nervous and then he's just hopping back and forth and since he has his damaged wings, he, he sometimes falls off the bird. So, so that's what happened yesterday. Let's look at this again. <laughs> so mm -hmm. we'll leave, we're not gonna put him back for a while, but Kulika's gonna design something there on the bottom. 
like so when she's cleaning if he falls there'll be like a safety net yeah there. i actually have an idea I, i've been thinking a lot like that. <laughs> last night and uh, and uh, like the best part of the last night actually i'm yeah. trying to figure out what could we possibly do to keep that from happening in the future so so i kind of got an idea that i'm gonna build a little trampoline here. <laughs> We're gonna just put some kind of fabric yeah. here and the hooks in the corners. So whenever I'm doing some kind of like cleaning or whatever I'm doing here, or even if I need to take him out, then uh, when he's getting nervous and uh, there's a chance that he would fall off the, the birds, then he would fall on that trampoline. Yeah. So I have an idea to put it somewhere here on this level. Just just a square, a piece of cloth, like a like a fine, like just just yeah. a fabric that's easily washable and hooks in the all. all <coughs> <laughs> put the hooks on attached to the sides of yeah. the cage and then when he falls he won't fall on those hard uh, bars he'll just kind of bounce <laughs> back so, me. That, so she's going to be working so on that guys and then the cherry will go back in so guys that's the update you were probably waiting for cherry's okay <laughs> we're still planning the live stream for the christmas party the card opening and you know hopefully it goes out all right wanted to mention one more thing quickly before we go Kulika's, Kulika's mother made a, has a pacemaker and the battery has to be changed, right Kulika? Yeah, that's a, that's a pretty nervous thing. We are pretty nervous about that because uh, considering what's going on with the pacemaker, it's really risky to, to have to change the battery and she's so dependent on that basically she has had it for about 15 years and she has had the battery changed uh, uh, twice actually within that year within that time and right now it's coming to the point in which the like in january the battery will run out and she's yeah. totally dependent she can't live without the pacemaker battery so she's gonna need to go, go to the hospital these days now anytime soon within december month yet and get the, yeah. the battery changed so we, we are really really worried about that so guys, she's scared she's so scared that, yeah she she doesn't want to go in but uh, she doesn't have a choice so. but what's the alternative so we just wanted to mention that guys we know a lot of you ask how made is doing she's doing really good but she doesn't want to go to the hospital but yeah. doesn't have a choice so same. she's really doing good but but if the base maker battery will turn out, that, that will work for her. So she, she's totally dependent on it. So. so guys, we'll end the video and everything turned out alright for Cherry. And thanks for all your well wishes. So we'll try to do the, the Christmas live stream on December 18th yet. See you in the next one, guys. Thank you so much for all your support and, uh, and prayers and uh, kind thoughts. So we really appreciate that. Thank you, guys. See you in the next one.